Now, Jimmy, HDMI, terribly useful and quite elegant in a home theatre. Fantastically exciting thing, yes, isn't it? Yes, it's great. It's, look, it's great in your home theatre. Yeah. Not so good in a professionally installed, integrated network. Horrendously difficult yeah. to move. <laughs> in a very long distance. It, it is, it is, and that's why people turn to something like this Cat6 solution. Yeah. So um, there's a few different ways to get your HDMI to go a bit further, but the one we're looking at today is from Lightwear. Yeah, it is. Um, we've actually looked at the receiver before, so we're going to just sort of disregard that because it's a TPS receiver. Mm -hmm. um, look back a few issues and you can read up on it. The thing that we're excited about today is the UMX TPS TX140 mm. transmitter. Now what this is, is a multiple input device with GPIO on it. And that's essentially really the, the crux of what makes it special. Mm. Um, we've seen this in the context of, of just a simple HDMI link. Uh, some nice things about this system, in long reach mode it'll do 1080p up to 170 yeah. metres of cable. That's a ways. That's a long way. Mm. Um, you can't get an HDMI cable to do that. No. Uh, it has the option to choose different audio paths. So mm -hmm. as well as the embedded audio on HDMI, there's, there's obviously also there's DisplayPort, there's VGA, there's DVI. So you can feed any of those inputs in. Um, but there's also a, a mini jack as well as a balanced audio mm -hmm. line input and you can choose to send the audio from those as well. Mm. In addition to all of that, we've got GPIO ports. And they can work in two different ways. So the first way they can work is they can trigger things within this device to happen. So if you have a, a logic input yep. on one of these GPIs, uh, you know, contact closure or whatever, you can use that to make the device switch which is the video source yep. that it's sending down the Cat6. Mm -hmm. The other thing that you can do is you can use events that happen within the device mm. to trigger things to happen on the GPIO. Say, so detect an input at the VGA port, then send out a GPI pulse, turn on the projector. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, and it's not just uh, the the GPI port you can use for that. There's also the RS-232 and there's RS-232 on the receiver as well. Mm. And you can choose to port RS-232 commands out of either of those in response to an event happening yep. on the device. Okay. Now, if you're, uh, if you're job goes beyond uh, the complexity of just having a couple of uh, HDMI inputs and outputs, like there's actually a project... You have more than one device <laughs> and one screen. Well, yeah, okay. There's yeah. a matrix solution from Lightweight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they have a matrix solution. So essentially you stick that somewhere between these devices. You can have all your sources in one mm. specific location. You can have your matrix, then you can f just cat six out to your display devices have a little receiver each one. Mm. Um, you've got IR pass through and things like that as well, mm. and that obviously switches through the matrix. It, it even has ethernet mm. pass through. So if you've got a smart TV or something, you can then use this device uh, to bring your ethernet link back, which opens up some good options if you need to, say, send HDMI over an existing installed Cat6 run, mm, mm. and you want to add some data, but the cable runs difficult, then this is, this is a perfect device for that too. Yeah, that's great.